To continue our look at the GOP Iowa caucuses now, our political expert, UW Whitewater Professor Richard Haven, is here offering his analysis. Just to be clear, we talked about the Democrats at 5 o'clock, so we're talking about the Republicans now. Uh, Professor Haven, what is Donald Trump's biggest challenge tonight? Well, his biggest challenge is to uh, get a good turnout of his supporters. His supporters are a bit unusual because a number of them are a first-time caucus attendees. Second, they're what I call irregulars, and mm -hmm. that is they're people who don't always vote every election. Uh, they remind me a bit of the group that supported Jesse Ventura in Minnesota oh, sure. when mm -hmm. Jesse Ventura kind of mixed up that governor's race. So if Donald Trump's campaign can turn them out, then obviously he'll be a happy camper. Yeah, almost as big of a story tonight as who wins for the GOP is who finishes second or even strongly. Talk about that a little bit. That's right. There's a game of expectations, and of course the candidates like to lower those expectations <laughs> so they look better. But for you know Donald Trump, if he loses to Ted Cruz, then that's a problem for him. If Ted Cruz, on the other hand, doesn't come in second and Marco Rubio moves up, that's a big win for Marco Rubio and a troubling point for Ted Cruz. So it will depend on how people meet those expectations and how they meet the expectations of the media about how they should do. Who do you think has the most to lose here tonight, I potentially? Think Ted, Ted Cruz has the most to lose. I, I, I think there's a pretty good chance that uh, Trump will do all right. But if Cruz should slip behind Rubio, that will be a bad signal because he's really been counting on winning Iowa or at least finishing very strong. Okay, you, you thought that Clinton would beat Sanders at five on the Democratic side. What does your gut tell you about the Republican side of things tonight? I, I think that uh, Donald Trump is far enough ahead that he'll probably win Iowa. I'll be very surprised if Cruz is able to pass him. So I expect we'll see a Trump victory. Let's talk about Iowa because uh, there had, I was reading a lot this weekend about it's not reflective of the nation. It's, it's very white. It's not very diverse, more religious than other states. Is Iowa, is New Hampshire for that matter, are both of those good bellwethers for the rest of the nation? They're really not. Uh, Iowa's more rural, you know, so much of the nation as big urban centers. So it, uh, neither Iowa or New Hampshire really represent the bellwether of a state that looks like the rest of the nation. But the only thing they do have is they come early and they create momentum. And that's the only reason that Iowa plays such a big role. It'll give some momentum. It'll give others headaches. And, of course, being next door to us, it, it makes it extra special for us to follow that tonight, which you will be doing tonight. We expect the returns to start coming in immediately at 730 on the Republican that's side, right. right? Now, the Democrats, it's a longer process where they, they kind of group together and, and to choose a candidate. So that takes longer for those results to come in versus that straight vote. So Professor Haven will be with us tonight at 10, and we hope you will be too as those results are coming in.